school psychologists saying that they're very lonely people because kids don't come to them school as psychologists uh -huh. anymore. <laughs> so, um, so I think that that's the most interesting thing we find, how uh, the culture of the school changes as a result of the new spaces. Light and color are extremely important uh, in designing a learning space. Now when I talk about light, the first and most important thing about light is daylight. Uh, as much as possible, we need to introduce daylight into our, into our schools. There was a study done in California where they looked at schools with less daylight as opposed to more daylight. Now in California, most schools have daylight. And even in a state like California, the, the study found that, that schools with more daylight had better student outcomes. Now in this particular case, they were measuring um, measurable things like test scores, for example. But uh, that's just a reflection of other factors, which is, as I mentioned earlier, uh, students' um, well-being, health and well-being, and happiness. When it comes to artificial light, it's just as important um, because different kinds of artificial light impact students differently. Um, so what we do is we have a lot of re done a lot of research about what kinds of light, artificial light, actually helps students perform better. So of course the the kind of artificial light we would go for first would be light that closely approximates the qualities of daylight.